Hi everyone, I am here today to talk about reading and commuting. As you probably know, I have recently moved to the big city, I'm now living in London, so commuting to work and back is part of the everyday experience. And I've been thinking quite a lot recently about the best ways to read and whether to read physical books or audiobooks, so I thought I'd share some of my thoughts with you here today and hopefully get some feedback from you guys as well as to what you do if you live in a big city. So I should start by saying that I'm not a morning person, I've never been a morning person, probably never will be a morning person. But one thing that really brightens my mornings is being able to listen to audiobooks. So when I leave the house and walk to the bus stop I listen to my audiobook and then usually when I get on the bus I sit on the bus and listen to my audiobook for most of the way. This usually depends on whether my physical book is more engaging or my audiobook. But usually in the mornings I'm not very good at focusing on words on a page so I will listen to my audiobook instead. So I take the bus to work and it's about an hour each way so that gives me a good amount of designated reading time. One thing that does bother me though is when I'm trying to read a physical book and there are people talking around me and I find it very very difficult to focus on the words on a page when people are having a conversation next to me or if they're playing music. I can't listen to my own music either when reading because I find it really distracting and I can't focus on the book properly. So I have come up with a solution for this and this is a wonderful app called Rain Rain. It's this app which gives you all these lovely sounds from nature. There are various different rain sounds, like there's rain on a tin roof, rain on a tent. I tend to listen to a summer rainstorm because that gives you a good balance of sort of bass sounds to higher pitch sounds so it blocks out most of the sounds that are around you. And that's how I managed to read physical books on the bus when I couldn't otherwise. So if I'm taking the tube by any chance, then I will usually listen to an audiobook whilst I'm changing stations or walking anywhere. And then I will sometimes try and continue with the audiobook, but sometimes that doesn't work because some of the lines on the underground, like the Jubilee line, are very noisy and the noise of the train blocks out the sound of the audiobook. So that is a good time to read a physical book. The other thing is when you're listening to an audiobook on the tube is that you have to find somewhere to look. Because on the tube it's not okay to make eye contact with people, it's a big big no-no. So as I'm listening to an audiobook I'm sort of thinking do I look at the floor or do I look up at the, the tube map. To be honest it's much easier just to have a book in front of you and read that and then there's no problem with the sounds and there's no problem with making eye contact with people. So yes physical books on the tube I find are best but audiobooks in between stops. Um, if I feel that I can switch between the two without too much confusion. On the bus it just depends how awake I'm feeling and I find if I'm taking a train that is above ground I like to look out the window. I love travelling by train, it's one of my favourite things. And if I can look out the window and listen to an audiobook that suits me really really well. I'd love to hear from you. What do you do when you're travelling on public transport? Do you prefer physical books or audiobooks or does it just depend on the sort of travel that you're doing? I mean obviously if you're driving you're not going to be able to read a physical book. Do share your thoughts in the comments below. Another quick reminder that I'm still looking for questions for my Q&A video that I'm going to be filming next weekend. So so please do leave any questions that you have in the comments as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!